Huh. Look at that. The Devil's Horse Profile, but it's got a single blade on the bottom and a single hook. That is like the craziest thing I've ever seen. Retro bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome back to Retro Bassin. A few weeks ago, you guys saw us do a tackle box walkthrough of the personal tackle box of Jack A. Smithwick. Well, in front of me today, I have his father's actual tackle box. That's right, this is the original tackle box owned by Jack K. Smithwick, the founder of Smithwick Lures. There is more old school wood in here than a petrified forest. It is wild. We're back here at Bacon's Bait and Tackle in Shreveport, Louisiana. And again, uh, Michael Bacon has been courteous enough to let me dive into his personal antique tackle collection. We're going to go through this box shelf by shelf, lore by lore. By the way, if this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish it old school, I'm talking about classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment from fishing days gone past. Stick around, consider subscribing, and be sure to hit that bell icon. Otherwise, you won't know when we post a new video like this one. Now, truth be told, I am not the expert on antique fishing tackle, especially stuff that was pre-1970s. This box is chock full of genuine fishing antiques. So I'm probably gonna need the help of uh, Michael if he's around and some of my bass and buds as well to identify some of the lures in here because I can tell you, there's a ton of discontinued Smithwicks in this box. But we're gonna go through it. I will give you close-ups of some of the different baits. There are, boy, a lot of artifacts in this box. So I think we're gonna start with, I don't know up top so the top row i see right here it looks to be honestly maybe uh 50 smithwick baits we'll go through some of the ones real quick here so this is interesting this is a smithwick walking bait sort of devil's horse-esque except you'll notice it does not have any propellers but it does have a rear weight so imagine this would sort of uh sit tail down in the water and then move as you walk in the bait so there's one of them in a nice old school color. The old yellow bandit color. Oh, wow. Okay, so here looks like a more of a devil's horse looking bait, except this one has just one rear uh, propeller. That's that Mickey Mouse propeller. And the front of the bait is a little bit larger, but this is interesting. Look at the bottom of that. It's actually got a flat bottom. Uh, that is very interesting. So I don't think that's a devil's horse per se, but something probably maybe a predecessor, or maybe just a variation of, of that prop bait. And here we go. So there is a classic old school devil's horse. Ooh, look at that. And this bait actually has a smaller diameter than some of the baits you see from Pragco these days. What Michael was telling me was that the original Devil's Horses were actually made a little bit smaller, which made them fish better, but some of them had a propensity to sink, which would not be ideal in the top water. So this is, I think, one of those. This is a really thin Devil's Horse. And for all you Bass and Buds, I said, I'm really surprised that Jack uh, A. Smithwick's box didn't have more Devil's Horses. <laughs> this one's going to make up for it. <laughs> So here's another one. Um, look at this. So this is a really cool prop bait from Smithwick. I don't think that's a devil's horse, but it's got the double props and more of a sort of Cordell Crazy Shad profile. Look at that. Oh, 
Ooh, there's another one of those uh, Smithwick walking baits. I don't know if that's called the toothpick or not. Um, man, that's really cool. <laughs> Look at this, a nice ball of old school wood here. Let's see if there's anything that sticks out. Ooh, so look at that little bait. That's cool looking. No propeller at all. Just a little slim piece of wood. Man, I bet that thing is mean on some schooling fish. So here's a nice devil's horse in sort of a unique uh, configuration with this larger blade. You don't see that kind of propeller blade anymore. It's really almost sort of palm leaf shaped. Look at that. A little bit longer and heavier on a really thin bait. That's actually a unique looking devil's horse. Oh, there's another nice one with a little flat bottom. I bet that really planes nicely. And a single rear propeller. Very cool. Ooh, that thing looks rare. Look at the color on that. Oh, wow. That is a white back. It's got like a red belly on it. Oof. Man, I think this is an early, early Smithwick here. Even the hook hangers look antique. Wow, that's a really cool bait. Huh. Look at that. The Devil's Horse profile, but it's got a single blade on the bottom and a single hook. That is like the craziest thing I've ever seen. Um, I wonder how that rides in the water column. Does it ride like this or does the weight of the hook make it flip over? I have no idea. Uh, man, Bass and Buds, if you have any idea what kind of bait this is, drop a comment down below. But that is wild. It almost looks like some sort of redfish or striped bass bait, doesn't it? Ooh. Now there's an old school one. Look at that guy. Oh, a nice bandit color, sort of a convict color. And again, that's the one that's got the single rear propeller and the flat bottom. Awesome. <laughs> I feel like I need Michael here for this episode because most of these baits, I just don't even know. So check that guy out. Look at that color. It's almost like a gun smoke color. It's like sort of a gray, black, silver. Oof. So this one sort of has an enlarged head and a single rear propeller right there. Wow. <laughs> That's a good looking bait though, isn't it? Man. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, that has to be about the smallest Smithwick bait I have ever seen. That thing is so small, it only has room for one little, uh, what is that, a number six uh, treble hook on it? Oof. <laughs> It's like a panfish uh, devil's horse. Look at that. That's really cool. So no spinners, no nothing. Just a little chunk of wood and a hook. All right, we're getting into some different baits here that I have not seen before. Ho, ho, ho. That's an oldie bit of goodie. Look at that guy. So that is a different propeller bait. This one actually has, I don't know if you can really appreciate the profile of this body, but it's got a unique body configuration. It's got two propellers on it. Ah, uh, what is this called? Is this called the scooter? It might be called the scooter, but I'm not sure. That's really nice. Ooh, look at that guy. Single propeller on the back. Flattened belly. Oh, I bet that thing just ran right across the water really beautifully. Oh man, and that's a cool color too. Look at that. Oh, and there's a nice little uh, petite that might be a toothpick there. So that is looks like a little three inch bait. No propeller, no tail weight, just a little uh, little surface twitch bait there, huh? Look at that. But clearly a Smithwick bait. Ooh, I gotta pull this guy out. There's a cool color in here. <laughs> I'm doing my best not to make this like an hour long walkthrough of this tackle box. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> mostly because I've got other stuff here that I want to see. Uh, so check that out. That is a nice looking devil's horse in sort of a black with a little white herringbone on it. Woo, look at the top of that thing. Yeah, 
That's a goodie. And there's another one, single rear propeller on this, little three inch bait in a sort of a yellow bandit color. Love it. One of the things I always liked about Smithwick and I appreciated is so many topwater lures, they put the eyes on the top of the bait where no fish can see them. At least with a Smithwick, they always put the eyes on the bottom. So if this thing is going over a fish looking up, it actually gets to see the eye, which is kind of the point of having eyes, isn't it? I always like that about Smithwicks. <laughs> it's a whole lot of top water in that first row, isn't it? So we're gonna head on down to row number two here. Let's see what we see. I don't know why, but I love these little baby devil's horses. Man, that's awesome. You could throw that on a little ultralight rod. <laughs> Woo! That thing would be mean in a little Texas Creek. I gotta tell you, I love that. Okay, here we go. So we've got a, uh, a little bit of a crankbait here. I don't know if this is a rooter, um, but it is a Smithwick crankbait. It's got that metal lip, sort of like a mud bug or a bomber. Uh, but that is really a good looking bait. Yeah, that sort of looks like a bomber, doesn't it? Just a little bit. But a little bit more of a compact bait. It's wooden, I bet that thing moves. Wow. Very cool. Huh, look at that little thing. I think that might be called a horsefly, maybe? That is a little, uh, little tiny wooden plug. That's like a little one inch, one and a half inch plug. Woof, look at that thing. That is awesome. And they've got a handful of these in here. <laughs> That's what you call a swarm of horseflies. Oh, those are awesome. So yeah, that's a unique, unique little bait there. But again, it's got the classic uh, Smithwick eyes. Woof, man. I'm guessing you'd have to throw this thing on some sort of spinning rod. It's pretty light. That feels like less than a quarter ounce, to be honest with you. Uh, but that's a compact, neat looking little walking bait, isn't it? You don't see stuff like that anymore, man. All right, we're gonna get down to the bottom row here. First thing. <laughs> Check it out. We got a picture of uh, President George H.W. Bush, and there's Jack Smithwick. <laughs> Just the things you find here at Bacon's. It's uh, wild. Okay, so there's some really cool old school boxes of Smithwicks. So I don't know what's in this, but I will show you guys the box just for the artwork alone. Look at that. Smithwick Lures, Snag the Smartest. Jack K. Smithwick and Son, Shreveport, Louisiana. So there's the box itself. That is a good looking box. Wow. And it says, for all game fish, devil's horse. So what are the goodies does Jack K. Smithwick have in his original tackle box? <laughs> what is this? I, I don't know what that is. I don't think those are fish bites. But there's a nice old medicine jar here. Um, I'm not gonna try those. So I know I do everything old school on this show, but <laughs> no idea what that is. Um, looks like some sort of old real oil, I'm assuming. <laughs> you need like a bath after this one, I gotta tell you. Oh, that's really cool. So we've got a box of, I think these are the toothpicks. Look at that. Oh man. These are interesting. Um, so I've seen these baits before where the tail is weighted. So it sits like this, but look at this. The front of that's weighted. So it's like a top water that almost probably sits nose down. That's, I wonder how that thing fishes. And there's three of them in here the same way. Every one of those is nose weighted. That's super unique. Oh yeah, look at that. Wild, super wild. Toothpicks, 
Mm -hmm. With a nose weight, not a tail weight. So this is Jack's personal tackle box, and he experimented. So that's wild, because that, look at that, it's got a nose it, weight. It, 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 what it does, it just nose down, and when he pulls it, it comes up. He, that's his experimental deal. That's, yeah. that's, I've never seen that in yeah, production. Well, I, you never. And you don't see a lot of nose weighted topwater baits. If anything, you They're see like. They're really pretty neat. I've, I've used them before. Okay. It, that's, instead of sitting tail yeah. and, and walking, it noses down and you can. Jump it. It, it yeah, probably does a weird. That's it's a great. I, I, saw, I saw that. I'm like, great wait a minute. That's like a toothpick, that. but that looks totally different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what is this? Uh, extremely rare. Okay. That's a Smithwick ponytail. A ponytail. A Smithwick. In some of the books, they only had a rend drawing, rendered drawings. They never had a picture of one. So nobody knew what they looked like. Really? A Smithwick ponytail. So this is like his version of a spinnerbait. Yeah, spinnerbait. Well, Oh, the things I miss. So, I was going through here. Here are a bunch, honestly a whole little box of these, the Smithwick Ponytail. Apparently Michael was saying this is one of the rarest spinner baits around. Oof, look at that. It's got a, a neat little head on it, a little blade, almost like a beetle spin with a short arm on it. And in this box, I see one ponytail there. There's a second. <laughs> There's a third, which is missing its skirt. And there's a fourth. What's crazy about this box is just how heavy it is. It is a solid wood box. This is not your dad's Plano. This is not your grandpa's Plano. This is like... <laughs> All right, I dare not try to close this thing. So I'm just gonna go in the back as gently as I can, but there's some oldies but goodies back here as well, I think. <laughs> there's another classic Devil's Force. Man, I love that big old blade. I think I bet that thing makes a thrashing on the surface. Oh man. There's another one. Oof. Man, I don't know about y'all, but I just love that color. That thing looks oof, stealthy, doesn't it? Man. Wow. Okay, I see some old photos. That's wild, look at that. So just an old picture of some fishermen who probably had some catches with some old Smithwick lures. And it's an old picture, you can tell by the edges of that. That's an old picture. <laughs> and there's some nice largemouth bass here. And what was this called on? Shad collared bucking ball. So which one was the bucking ball? Was it this guy? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's bucking ball and bucking ball junior. That's the bucking ball. Okay, so there is the bucking ball. That's the name of that bait that we've been looking at. And there are some nice fish <laughs> that were caught on the bucking ball. Oh, so there's some blanks in here. Oh yeah, there's one of a kind blanks. Here. Hold on. Oh, oh yeah. wow. That's... Oh yeah. Okay, hold up. <laughs> You got me hooked on the blanks after uh, my last trip here. Oh, yeah. So, is that like a prototype bait of some sort? Of course, sort? yeah. He, Look uh, at he that. Just, it's like a little bottle to cap top. Like, yeah. He'd get ideas. Of course, he wouldn't paint them. He just did the blanks. And That's wild. Work on them till they Looks they like some through. sort of redfish lure, doesn't it? Ah, there's no telling what was in his mind. That one's wild. Okay, so, look at that. Almost like a lucky 13 mm -hmm. or something, huh? Mm -hmm. Probably goes that way. Goes like this yeah, way? Yeah, yeah, my guess. Okay, it goes that way, yeah, okay. Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome. Crankbait of some sort? Yeah, mm hmm. Almost like a flat fish, but a little heavier. It's not so flat, it's like a fat fish. But they, they whittle on all those, get them kind of like they want them. 
work good, then you start production. Okay, so this one looks like you almost got this one off. So, painted the belly white. It's got a little cupped mouth on it. Yeah, he definitely made that one. Some kind of top water. Oh, man. So, this one is interesting. So, it looks like a devil's horse body, but it's got a little bit carved out at the top there. A little divot. Yeah, he, he was doing those divots where he did the flat part yeah. on some of them, which is yeah. really cool. That one I obviously never made. But there's two of them. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. You just paint these up, you know? <laughs> They're worth more like yeah. They are. That is wild. That is really cool. So just a handful of just never before seen lures that never got made. Got a postcard, a Christmas card. Oh, yeah. He's an avid collector. I think he's a famous fisherman from Japan. Really? Okay. Can't remember his name. Bass and Buds from Japan. Drop a comment down below. Let me know who this is. So are these hand drawings here? I don't even remember. Uh, yeah, they are. Probably. They're in a bag, so that means they're a little more important. Anytime there's something in a bag. Oh, wow. So that looks like a hand drawing of... Uh, that is a hand It looks like a... a Precursor to a Tootsie Bug or something like that. Oh, look at that. So was this hand drawn by Jack Case uh, Methley? It was not say on the bottom. It's probably called a digger, well digger. Okay, so this on the bottom, it's pretty faded, but it says top and bottom well digger. That was so, the name of their company. So top first and bottom was the name of Smithwick for how long? Uh, first three or four years. <laughs> how old's this drawing? That's gotta be 40s. So. 1940s. About 80 years old right here. Whew. We'll uh, put that gently off to the side. <laughs> There's a, an old picture. Somebody with a nice bass. No name on it, so that might have been what? One of his field testers, friends? Yeah, it's an old one, because look at the phone number on there. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 the three? What's yeah. that? 3-7 <laughs> something, that's the phone number, that's it. That probably doesn't work anymore, does it? No. Yeah, that's a print block. It's a that's what they use to make uh, catalogs. It's a they roll the print over it. Okay. It should be made out of lead, pewter. And what is that? It should be a walking scorpion. A walking scorpion. Yeah, Smithwick. Yeah. So is this going to be for a catalog? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so this is like a little blade up front. Yeah, I would, there's some. In the that's what we had in the, in, in so in the other box we had those. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that is like a for a. Uh, a catalog or a magazine, so that's... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, ho, ho. <laughs> then we've got this. <laughs> I thought it was a paint stick. It looked like it. I'll, it's, it's, I'll tell you about that later. The paint sticks. <laughs> the paint sticks. Yeah. So this is one that um, we were actually getting the case, the, we were actually getting the tackle box out of the case and Michael found this. This is a twig. And then we have a note that looks so old. And what does it say? It says, this limb came from the boundary tree where Abraham Lincoln was born. A lot of this is kind of disintegrated over the years, but it says he played with it as a boy. Uh, this tree is estimated to be 300 years old. And that was whenever this note was That's typed right. up. So this twig, uh, <laughs> I don't know what the tie is to Jack K. Smithwick, but <laughs> Abraham Lincoln played with this tree as a boy. Doesn't get much more retro than that. So there's one more piece before we wrap up this episode that I wanted to show my Bass and Buds, and that is this. We did the tackle box of Jack A. Smithwick, Jack's uh, K's son, and we talked a little bit about this lure. There were some of these in there called the Bow Jack. It is a Big O style crankbait that was discontinued when Smithwick was acquired by Pradco. In his collection, surprise, surprise, Michael has this. This is, what it says here is Bojack number one wood. So this is the first ever prototype of the Bojack crankbait that Jack Smithwick made in a wood version. Um, I will see if I can pop this thing. Nah, it's gonna stay on that card. 
but I will show you this bait. Oh, look at that. That is a pretty looking carved bait right there. And that is the Bojack number one. So this is the first prototype of this bait? That is the first wooden. The first wooden. Bojack. Wow. I got an is... update on this one. I made a copy of this came out here. Uh, this was picked up by Jack K. Smithwick, this okay. limb. Okay. In October of 56. See okay, so, yeah. so okay, so we just scanned this because that paper was about to uh, just expire. Yeah. It says this limb was picked up on October 9th of 1956 sure. by Jack K. Smithwick. So that is some history on top of history there. So that limb came from <laughs> the boundary where Abraham Lincoln was born, and then it was later picked up by Jack K. Smithwick in 1956. That's that's an heirloom right there. I'm I'm glad that you printed that out before uh, yeah. that got lost forever. That's <laughs> all right. Wait, wait, what's this? I have no idea. I really didn't. Did know. you take one? I really don't know. <laughs> what's it? It's probably something for uh, heartburn. Yeah, heartburn or something. Yeah, a lot of people sure had stuff like that. I get I get a heartburn around these collections, so that's good. Fishing <laughs> <laughs> it old school. This old stuff rules. Welcome to retro bathroom.